Hello my dear students. So in the previous video, just I have started with the definition of the canal and also the classification of the canals. So today we will go for the design of canal by using Kennedy's theory and Lacey's theory. So before starting into the design of canal, first we need to study about the some of the parameters that we need to take in the design of canals. So these are the some of the parameters that we need to take in the design of the canal. So there are 10 parameters, for example, cross sectional area of the canal, depth of water, slope of the bed, rugosity coefficient, hydraulic mean depth, velocity flow, then critical velocity, discharge, silt factor and B by D ratio. So these are the some of the parameters that we need to take for the design of the canal. So today we'll go for the Kennedy's theory and how to design the canal by using the Kennedy's theory. Then what are the steps we need to follow in the design of the canal by using the Kennedy's theory. So let us start the, the first theory that is Kennedy's theory. So before solving the problems, just we'll study about the design steps that we need to consider in the design of canal. So there are mainly two cases that we need to consider in the Kennedy's theory. So case case one, so that is we have mentioned the Q, N, M and S are known. So Q is the discharge that will be provided in your problem. Then N will be the rugosity coefficient. Then M will be the critical velocity ratio. Then S will be the slope of the bed. So these values will be given in your problem. So by using these parameters, how to design the canal by using the Kennedy's theory. So in your problem, they will mention design the canal by using the Kennedy's theory. Okay, so let us start the step number one that is assume a value of d. d means depth. So for example, 2 meter. So initially you should assume the value of the depth that is 2 meter. Then you can go for the calculation of v0 that is the critical velocity and it can be calculated as v0 equal to 0.55 into m into d to the power 0.64. So d will be assumed that is 2 meter then m will be the already given in your problem that is the critical velocity ratio. So by using this you can calculate the v0 that is the critical velocity ratio. Then you can go for the, the standard equation that is the area equal to q divided by v0. So q is the discharge, v0 just we have calculated. So by using this you can calculate the cross sectional area of the canal. Then after knowing the d and a value, find the bed width b for a trapezoidal ch a channel. So that is the equation is a equal to b into d plus d square divided by 2. So here area is already known then b, a, b and d values also you know so you can directly go for the calculation of the remaining values. So knowing the d and a find the bed width that is b. So from this equation you will get the, the value of b that is the base width of the canal. So next will be the step number 5. So in step number 5, calculate the perimeter and hydraulic mean depth. So that is P equal to, so perimeter equal to B plus D into square root of 5. So B already we have calculated, so D is also, we, we know the value of D, then square root of 5. So you can easily go for the perimeter. And also the hydraulic mean depth can be calculated as R equal to A divided by P, area divided by perimeter. So by using this equation, you can easily calculate the perimeter and hydraulic mean depth. So next will be step number six. That is the last step. Calculate the mean velocity by using the Couter's equation. So that is V equal to C into square root of R into S. So V equal to C into square root of R into S. So here C is C equal to 23 plus 1 by N plus 0 0.00155 divided by S. So whole divided by 1 plus into 23 plus 0 0.00155 divided by s into n divided by square root of r. So by using the all the values that is s value, r value, then the given n value. So you can directly calculate the v value that is the mean velocity by using the Couter's equation. If the value of v is equal to v0, so that is v0 initially we have calculated then the assumed depth is correct. If not, repeat the calculations by changing the d value that is the depth value till the velocities are same. Suppose in this example, 
if you take if i am getting the value of v equal to 0.9 then v not should be 0.9 so it should be nearly equal values v and v not so if it is not then you can repeat the entire procedure by taking the different depth values so initially in this steps we have followed the the depth value 2 meter if it is not matching then you can go for the further depth that is 2.1 2.2 2.3 so till you should get the the value of v and v not should be almost equal so that is the procedure we need to follow in this first case that is q value is given n value is given m value is given and s values are also given so next we'll go for the case 2 so in case 2 the given values are q n m and b by d ratio so here q is discharge n is again trochocity coefficient m is critical velocity ratio and b by d ratio is also given base and depth value ratio will be given so for this we need to follow some of the standard procedure so first for example if i take b by d equal to some value for example x so if i take the ratio of b by d equal to x for the design steps so i can write b equal to d into x then i know the standard area equation that is area equal to b into d plus d square divided by 2 then if i substitute b equal to d into x in the standard equation here area equal to x into d square plus d square divided by 2 so finally i will get the the equation which is in terms of the area so area equal to d square into x plus 0.5 so i can give this as equation number 1 then i know the the velocity equation that is the critical velocity equation v not or v equal to 0.55 into m into d to the power 0.64 then also i know the, the standard discharge equation q equal to area into velocity so q equal to area equation i already know from the equation number 1 so that equation i will write here then velocity equation i also know 0.55 into m into d to the power 0.64 so from this entire equation i will get the value of d that is the depth value and then by using this depth value i already know b equal to d into x then i can easily find out the b value so depth is calculated then base width is also calculated then you can go for the calculation of hydraulic mean radius r equal to area divided by perimeter so we already know how to calculate the perimeter p equal to p plus square root of i into d then you can get directly calculate the critical velocity then go for the cutter's equation that is a standard equation then from this you can calculate easily the s value that is the bed slope value so if you follow these standard steps you can easily find out the base width of the canal depth of the canal then bed slope of the canal so the same problems you will get in your exam so follow these steps if they ask any type of problem just to follow these standard formulas then you can easily solve any type of problem next we'll go for the kennedy's theory so by using the kennedy's theory we'll solve some of the example so the first problem we'll take that is a design and irrigation channel on kennedy's theory to carry a discharge of 40 cumex so take n that is a rugosity coefficient 0.0225 and critical velocity ratio that is m equal to 1.05 the channel has a bed slope of 1 in 5000 so these are the given data so let us start this problem so given values will be q discharge 45 cumex so n rugosity coefficient 0.025 then critical velocity ratio m equal to 1.05 solution will follow the same steps so initially so this is the case one problem step 1 assume the value of d so i'll assume 2 meter then i can calculate the critical velocity so from this i will get the 0.9 then go for the step number 3 that is the area equal to q divided by critical velocity so you will get the area because already discharge is calculated and velocity is calculated so knowing the d and a value find out the base width of a trapezoidal channel so by using the standard equation that is area equal to b into d plus d square divided by 2 so you will get the base width value so 
So same steps you need to repeat for step 5 also. So calculate the perimeter as well as hydraulic mean depth. So perimeter equation you already know. Then hydro, uh, hydraulic mean depth is also known, area divided by perimeter. So by using these formulas you can easily find out the perimeter as well as hydraulic mean depth. So finally go for the last step that is step number 6. So calculate the mean velocity by using the Kutas equation. So whatever we have uh, uh, designed the canal by using the Kennedy's theory. So from this you will get the one more value that is 0 0.926 that is the velocity. Here whatever the values we have calculated initially the V0 value whatever we have calculated is 0 0.9 but by using the Kutas equation we are getting 0 0.926. So V is greater than V0. So here we need to give the command increase the value of D and try again. Because we are not getting the same values. If you compare V value and V0 value. So both the values are not same. So that's why we need to repeat this procedure by revising the depth value. So that also we have to see here in the next step. Suppose if V and V0 is same then you can directly write the assumed depth is correct. If it is not equal, then you can revise the section by increasing the depth value. So that we need to study here. So next, same data we need to take, but here in the first step you need to write d equal to, you can try 2.1 or 2.2. So based on the value we need to go for the standard procedure. So here I have used d equal to 2.2 meters. So same steps we need to repeat again calculate the critical velocity then find out the area by using the discharge and velocity then knowing the d and a value again you find out the the base width so same steps we need to repeat same formulas will be there but there is a change in the depth so that you need to understand so after finding this you can go for the step number five again you calculate the perimeter and hydraulic mean depth and finally you can go for the calculation of mean velocity by Kutas equation. Here whatever the value we have calculated V0 is 0 0.957. So by using the Kutas equation we are getting 965. So almost it is near if you compare with the case 1. So that's why I am writing V equal to V0. Hence the assumed D is correct for further precision. So D can be assumed as 2.23 meters. So if you want to get the accurate answer because in the previous step we have we got 0 0.957 then here we are getting 0 0.965 so if you increase the depth value slightly so you will get the almost all equal values so that's why we need to increase the, the accurate depth that is i have given that is 2.23 so if you take directly 2.23 so both the answers will be same so like this you need to go for the the step stepwise procedure how to and then you can decide how to design the canal by using the Kennedy's theory. So this is the standard procedure you need to remember. So here you should remember the formulas. So without the formulas you cannot go for the calculation of all the values. So we'll go for the second type problem. That is second case. That is design an irrigation channel to carry a discharge of 14 q max so assume the rugosity coefficient that is n equal to 0 0.0225 and m value that is 1 that is small and you can consider then b by d ratio is given 5.7 then by using this how to design the kennel section by using the Kennedy's theory so given value q value n and m then b by d ratio so first you need to understand how to solve the problem by using the given data so here in the image i have given calculate the a in terms of d so the entire pressure is given okay so here you need to calculate the d value then b value then velocity then finally by using the kutas equation you need to go for the that is the slope uh, slope of the bed so after calculation of these values you need to decide what is the depth that you need to provide in the canal then what is the base width of the canal so the standard pressure we need to follow step number one two three and four so it is nothing but the formulas 
so in the second case we have taken b by d ratio as x so if you follow that step you can easily solve this problem so same formulas will be given only you need to take the here in the standard procedure i have taken b by d ratio equal to x so here they have given b by d ratio equal to 5.7 so same procedure you need to follow then you can easily finish the problem so there are two cases in kennedy's theory so based on these two cases definitely you will get the problems so try to practice the problems and also formulas so without the formulas you are not able to solve any type of problem so in the next lecture we'll go for the other topics so thank you